Today I'll be showing you how to buy as modern RX 580 8GB from Sapphire to hash over 30 mega hashes per second. So before I start explaining what you need to do today, I want to tell you that this BIOS mod is only made for the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 580 8GB with Hynix memory. If you have a different brand or different memory type, you cannot do this BIOS mod because that will ruin your card for almost 100%. So today I will show you how to do it. So this one is specific for this card and will work straight away without doing anything than uploading the new BIOS into your card. Okay, so first of all, you will need to download the Sapphire Nitro 588GB BIOS mod from Mega NZ. I will put the links in the description below of every program that you will need today. So you can download it through your browser and it will start downloading right away. So after you have downloaded your Sapphire Nitro ROM, you can just drag it to your desktop for example. And then you will see that I place two other programs next to it. So first of all, I want you to make sure that you have Hynix memory on your card and that it's a Sapphire Nitro RX 580 with 8 gigabyte of memory. So how to do this, you can download the program called Tech Power Up GPU-Z to see what your card is about. So if you open the program, you will see that there's going to be a little title called Memory Type. You will need to see that there is GDDR5 Hynix inside there and you will need to see that this is an 8 gigabyte version and you can see that right over here below the memory type on the memory size so it should be 8192 megabytes of memory size so now that you know that you have Hynix memory for really sure you can close this up and you will need the next program so the next program that we're going to be using is ADI Flash. I will also put that in the link in the description below. But what you need to do with this program is save your original BIOS ROM and load in the new BIOS ROM. So what do we need to do with this file? We need to drag it into our C drive directly. So I opened up my C drive over here and what you can do is just drag it in here so you can see that ADI Flash is inside your C drive. The next step is to, is to drag the BIOS mod ROM into your ADI Flash folder that you just put in your C drive and you're done with this step. So now you can open up the folder and you will see that there's going to be a lot of files inside there. But actually, you only need the adiwinflash.xa file and your BIOS mod ROM. So now we're going to open it up as administrator because otherwise it will not run. And after it opens, you will see that you have your cards inside your uh, computer, let's say. But if you have six cards or whatsoever, you cannot see them all because it's going to be such a long list that it won't fit into the little box over here. And then you will need to use the manual commands of ADI WinFlash. But of course, I'm only using one card, so I can show you really easily how to do this. So the selected card is this one over here. There's only one card. But first of all, we're going to save our original BIOS to the same folder in ADI Flash. So what do you do? You just click save over there and you will call your uh, ROM like original ROM or whatsoever and just hit save. It's gonna save it up into ADI Flash themselves and if it's not you just go to the directory of your ADI Flash folder. So you can just save it up over there and now we have our original BIOS ROM in there when it says ROM image save to file. So now you can check it uh, it's always better to check your files if it really saved onto your computer. As you see over there, it just appeared. The original BIOS ROM is inside the folder. So what are we going to do now? We're going to install the new BIOS ROM with loading the image. So what do you do? You just select the new ROM for your Sapphire Nitro Plus 588GB with Hynix memory and just hit open. But of course, I am recording this right now so I cannot click program and do this stuff but I will come back after installation and show you the results of this new 30 mega ashes per second BIOS ROM for this card. Keep in mind when you hit program your computer will load it in for like 30 seconds to a few minutes. It will really take some time for some computers so make sure to really wait it out until it says you can restart your computer now because some people are really 
uh, impatient and already skip it and try to shut it down and whatsoever and then it will stop your card from getting the full BIOS into the system. So then your card will be bricked. So make sure you wait it all out when you hit program and it will say you like now you can restart your computer with ease. So make sure you do that instead of being impatient and just skipping it through. Okay, so as you can see, I was hashing at about 30.5 mega hashes per second, but I cannot show you the real time uh, mining when I'm recording for some reason because OBS always takes some stuff away from my hash rate. So, as you can see, my memory clock speed is all the way at 2250 megahertz, my core clock is just 1340, and my power limit is zero. My core voltage is minus 96 millivolts, just to be really efficient. But if you want, you can also put this on zero and maybe you can get some extra hashes out of there. But as you can see, the card will use 20 watts more than it's used to. So I'm not sure if this is really more efficient to use. But for my opinion, minus 96 mega volts is plenty enough to get some benchmarks out of this card. So this is really one of the best BIOS modes I've found so far for the RX 588GB. And I'm willing to share this with you guys. So hopefully you get something in return for me. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one.